and hell. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and welcome to this week's episode. My name is Blessing Alada Sami, your business English coach for me to his done business orders. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, wonderful people. All right, today topic will be about how to understand different English accents to readers. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't understand them. Mahmoud tried so hard to understand his clients' patterns and impressed his words in English, but he couldn't understand their words. He had listened to many audiobooks in English, many business English podcasts, yet he found it hard to understand their words in English. He got confused when they spoke English with him. In the same way as Mahmoud, you try but you find it hard to understand your clients, partners and investors' English assets. At times you ask yourself why is it so hard to understand their words in English? If you are a Midwestern founder and you want to understand your clients, partners, and investors' English assets during meetings, use the tips that I will give you today to learn how to understand different English accents. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this business English podcast with your friends, your family, and your business friends. All right. I mean, lost a lot of money because of his weak English. His real name is not Amin, and that's because we have 100% privacy in my one-on-one VIP English programs. So, I wouldn't tell you his name, and I will use the name Amin to refer to this particular medicine business owner that I'm talking about. Amin lost a lot of money because of his weak English. He tried to use a sweet English skills to grow his business and this made him lose a lot of money every year. Amin reached out to me and is signed up for my one-on-one VIP English program for 8 months. He did one-on-one live English classes 3 times a week with me to develop strong business English skills faster. Not only that, he did daily assignments five times a week to use his English skills for his business. He also did daily five-minute video calls five times a week to get feedback from me. Within eight months, Amin started speaking English confidently during meetings. He began to expand his business to other countries with strong English skills. I want you to tell yourself the truth. Are your English skills helping you make more money or lose more money? Your family members, friends, and relatives all look up to you for more money. Stop letting your weak English skills reduce the money you can give them. If you are a medicine founder and you want to develop strong English skills for your business, these are the two ways I can help you. The first one is let's work one on one for eight months to help you improve your weak. English skills and grow your business and the investment start from $4,057 per month to $12,170 per month to work with me. Yes, I know it's expensive. Yes, I know. And the second one is premium English proofreading and editing of your top secret documents in English. The investment start at $2,500 $2,500 per month for 10 pages of your top secret documents every month. However, if you just want to do just a page, like if you just want to proofread, edit, rewrite, and review your top secret document, just one, then you have to pay 223 yes, 323 USD. So, if you decide to sign up for the monthly, Premium English proofreading and editing, you will save a whole lot of money. So instead of paying 3230 
dollars per month for 10 pages you pay two thousand five hundred dollars a month for 10 pages of your top secret documents in english in case you want to know more kindly go to www.friendlylycouch.com slash link check the description of this business english podcast wherever you're listening tonight i don't know or you're listening to this on youtube go to the description of this business english podcast and you will say www.friendlycouch.com slash link tap on it and once you tap on it you will see whatsapp icon or messenger icon send me a message directly on whatsapp okay all right want to understand their words better in english you want to understand your clients partners and investors words better in english but you don't listen well to them 99 percent of leaders and founders who reached out to me because of their weak English skills wanted to learn how to speak read write they hardly spoke about learning how to listen well in English. Learning how to listen can help you improve your week. Learning how to can help you tell your clients, partners, and investors different English accents. Many times you don't listen on during meetings, which is why you don't understand the words in English. How can you understand the words during meetings when they didn't pronounce words like you? The first one is listen well. Yes, I get it. A lot of us pretend to listen, but we are not listening. I do that. You do that. But what about when we are talking about your business? This is not about a time that you just think listening is an option. Listening is compulsory. Because we are talking about how you can get that financial freedom that you want, how you can boot, how you can grow that business that you always dream about, how you can grow that business that you put your time, energy, to sleepless night. You will not less lack of good listening skills to so affect your business. To reduce the money you can make. So it's not an option. It's compulsory. You need to calm down. You need to learn how to listen. Just like the way you listen to your loved ones. To your wife. Your husband. Your children. Your girlfriend. Your boyfriend. Your fiance. Your fiance. Also, that's the way you listen to them all heartedly. Listen to your clients, your partners, and investors all heartedly. During meetings. And the next one is kindly ask the person speaking to repeat your words if you don't understand. After all, there is no shame in asking questions when you do not understand your assets how can i understand my clients english assets apply send me a message blessing how can i understand my clients english assets why is it so hard to understand your words in english his real name is not abdullah Many medicine founders with weak English skills are just like Abdullah. They don't understand their clients' English accents. They find it hard to understand their clients' words in English. You try different methods to understand your English accents, but you still don't understand them. Regardless of all ad you find it hard. To understand their English accents, I have some things for you. So I want you to use the tips that I will give you today to learn how to understand different English accents easily. Do you want seven fast ways to improve your weak English? You don't have to waste time looking for fast ways to improve your weak English skills because I've done that for you. 
with these seven fast ways you can learn how to speak English during meetings. You can learn how to build your confidence in your English skills. You can learn how to write business emails and documents in English. You can learn how to understand your clients' patterns and investors better in English. Also, you can get those seven fast ways for free, so you don't have to pay $100 to get them. However, if you are generous enough, if you are kind enough to pay me $100 to get them, kindly wait. But if you want to get yours for free, get it now while it's too free. Don't forget that my one-on-one VIP English program starts from $4,000 upward per month. So you can just get the seven fast ways for free and use them to improve your business English skills. And if you think that you need more than that, fine, you can reach out to me. All right. So check the description of this business English podcast you're listening to and go to www.friendlilycoach.com slash link. Check the description of this business English podcast. You will see three links, but just one but they are written three times click on that link www.friendlycoach.com slash link click on it and then you will say free business english tips or you will see a pop-up want free business english tips tap on it put in your email first and then your name and then submit after that listen to me after that Go to your email, the email you use to register. Go there and then you will see Friendly Coach, an email from Friendly Coach. All you need to do is for you to tap on it and then tap the red button. Tap here. That red thing that you can see, tap on that red thing. And then you can start receiving this. Seven fast ways for free. All right, you will list count if you start counting. How many times did you tell yourself that you would improve your weak English skills in 2023? You will list count if you start counting the number of times you told yourself that. Are you going to continue telling yourself that in 2024? Like, really? Ali, that was not, that's not a true name anyway. Ali was losing more deals because of his weak English skills every year. He told me that when he thought of the shame he earned and the money he lost because of his weak English skills, he was not happy. Ali joined my one-on-one VIP English program for eight months. He joined 90% of the one-on-one live classes. He did 75% of the daily assignments to help him improve faster. He showed up almost every day to get 5 minute feedback from me on a video call. Within 8 months, Ali developed strong confidence in his English skills. Ali had zero confidence in his English skills before we started. He started expressing himself confidently in English during meetings. When you think about the shame you earned and the money you lost because of your weak English skills, are you happy? By the way, I have something for you. Want to grow your business worldwide with strong English skills within eight months? Kindly go to www.vendlilycoach.com slash link. Go to the description of this Business English Podcast and tap that link that you see to send me a message directly in WhatsApp or on Facebook Messenger. Now prefer WhatsApp, yes, so that I can call you. Well, very soon I'm going to add, uh, okay, fine, very soon I'm going to give you guys my boot team number, yes. So in case I can't call you on WhatsApp, then I can call you on Bitin. That'll be easier. All right. It has been five years yet you are weak English skills. 
You have been trying many methods to improve your weak English skills, but you have made lead you to no progress. You join private business English classes, yet you can't make simple sentences in English. You think of giving up all your English skills, but your weak English skills are affecting your business every day. Just like you, Ibrahim does not his real name did know how to develop strong English skills to grow his business outside of his country. He signed up for my one-on-one VIP English program and followed every guide I gave him through the eight months. In eight months, Ibrahim started to use his English skills to grow his business outside of his country. Are you looking for ways to develop strong English skills to grow your business? There are two ways I can help you. Let's talk one on one to help you grow your business outside the country with strong English skills within eight months. And the second one is premium English proofreading and then dating of your top secret documents in English. Want to improve your weak business English skills? Kindly get to www.friendlynicoach.com slash link to send me a message directly on WhatsApp. And also, for those of you who intend to support me to buy me coffee or to donate monthly, kindly go to www.friendlilycoach.com slash link. Tap the link in the description of this business English podcast. Tap on it, scroll down a bit, and you will see buy me coffee. Buy me coffee. Tap on it. To buy me cafe or to donate monthly. I appreciate every one of you. All right. The top tip that I have here for you is this. Okay, let me recap that. The first one I talked about, you should listen well. Can I remember that? Can you? And the second one is kindly ask the person speaking to repeat your words if you don't understand. Are you with me? And the third one is, speak to your clients, partners, and investors in English. Don't be afraid to speak to them. And the next one is, start with five minutes, then ten minutes every week. Increase the minutes by five. And the next one is go to business meetings, events, and connect with business owners from other countries to grow your business and increase your confidence to speak English. And the next one is use 10 to 15 minutes, two times a week, to listen to podcasts in English that are related to the business you do. I'm not talking about business English podcasts, no. I'm talking about business podcasts that are related to the business you do. But make sure they're in, they are in English. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. And the last one is, the more you listen well, the more you can understand the different English accents of your foreign clients, business partners, and investors. That will be all for this lovely Friday morning. Also, I want to say thank you to all my listeners. But I've not been calling you countries like the way I always do. But anyway, very soon I will start doing that again. I hope so. But due to some things I don't want to miss out on some countries, and I would love to mention some countries here, but I know a lot of people would want to want to hear about that. But it was fine. I believe there are good people everywhere. Yes, regardless of where you are, be good to people. In the business you do, to your family, to your friends, be good to them. I don't know if we are humans, if we are going to live the second time, I don't know. But this life that you're living, live it right. 
I don't know where this is coming from, but I just feel like saying this to just uh, anybody listening to me. I know you're listening. Thank you for listening. Just be good. Okay? This life that you have now, use it well. Thanks a lot, everybody. In case you want to buy me cafe, kindly go to www.friendlycoach.com slash link. Okie dokie, everybody. All right, I'll see you next week. I love you and leave you some lessons. <laughs>